What's up guys? Welcome back to Deck Tech for Decks. I'm your host Caleb. If you want to support me, you can now follow me on Patreon. Not only is it the best way to support the channel, additionally, you'll get more say in what decks I do. Special shout out to my high contributing patrons, Newsome, you rock. Now let's get into today's Deck Tech with Rowan, and this is the weekly voted patron build. To rack those commanders in the row, Crazy. I don't know what to tell you other than these guys are savages. Now, let's get into what we want to do with this deck. And right out of the gate, we have a little bit of a problem. Rowan's just busted. So if this isn't going to be a CEDH deck, we're going to have to put some restrictions on it. So I decided that this deck can only win through combat damage. None of that broken Torment of Hellfire stuff. So we've got a little bit of restrictions on us already. And now let's throw in some jank. We're going to use Painter Servant. Now, Painter Servant is kind of expensive, so maybe you can use some of your own painting skills and... And paint a proxy and uh, what we're gonna do with that painter servant is we're going to turn all of our permanents either black or green it doesn't matter and then we're gonna cast Eldrazi's for free free Eldrazi sounds cool to me then we're gonna throw in some life gain synergies because this is going to be a high risk high reward deck our life total is gonna be swinging down to nothing full nothing full and all of that is because we're throwing all of these life gain synergies in the deck with a lot of life loss synergies that way again we get to cast free Eldrazi's we get a smack face with those free Eldrazi's and then those Eldrazi's are going to gain us life so if that sounds like a deck tech you want to get into let's get into it Let's kick it off by talking about all the massive colorless creatures we're going to run. First of all, we need Painter Servant, that way we can give them all a color and cast them for free using Rowan. Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, Emrakul, the Promised End, and Kozilek, Butcher of Truth. I'm pretty sure you know what these guys do, and once they hit the battlefield, it's incredibly swingy and you take control of the game. Ulamog, Infinite Gyre, It That Betrays, Blightsteel Colossus. Again, all we need is one of these giant titans to stick, and we're going to start taking control of the game. Brass's Bounty, Ancient Copper Dragon, Mana Geyser, just another way we can hardcast these if we don't get Painter Servant on the battlefield. Reckless Endeavor is also going to be pretty solid here. Not only can we generate a ton of treasure tokens, we can kind of pseudo wipe the board. So imagine pseudo wiping the board and then slamming a Blightsteel Colossus. Yeah, that's going to be pretty terrifying. Hit the Motherload almost never feels bad. You're going to discover, and if you discover into something very low, you're going to get the treasure tokens equal to the difference. So it's going to be a very solid card to just get an explosive turn off. Now let's get into all that life loss. We have Phyrexian Arena and Black Market Connections. Just a solid way to lose some life every turn, even though it's incremental. Now Black Market Connections can lose us up to 6 life, so that's going to be really solid. Staff of Completion is going to be perfect here. 4 life, draw, and then Rowan taps for 4. Pretty solid. Nice Whisper, just a way to draw some cards while losing some life. The One Ring, this one takes a little bit to get going, but once we get it up there, we can lose a ton of life, tap Rowan, and just storm off. Reanimate there's some massive creatures in this deck so it's very easy to spend one mana pay 10 life and then tap Rowan and you're good to go feed the swarm snuff out and bitter triumph are some solid removal spells that just happen to cause us to lose some life toxic deluge again a really good board wipe device that causes us to lose a lot of life. Moonlight Bargain is some pretty solid tech. We can pay 10 life to draw 5 cards and then Rowan taps for 10. Crick Son of Yogmoth. There's a lot of black pips in this deck, so the opportunity to pay life to cast spells for almost free is going to be amazing. Villas Broker of Blood. Get him and Crick on the battlefield and you're going to have a great time. Just make sure you have some lifelink to gain some of that back. Greed, again, another way to pay life to draw some cards. That pairs really good with Crick. Cut the Profits is a way to pay a ton of life, draw a ton of cards, and then just storm off with Rowan. Greven Praetor's Captain is a solid way to not only draw a ton of cards, but again pay life, and then all you have to do is tap with Rowan and cast all those cards for essentially free. Hatred can straight up one-shot people in this deck, pay a ton of life, one-shot someone, and then gain all that life back with some of your lifelink sources. Wall of Blood, this one just sits here and pays life. It's not terribly useful unless we have something to sack it to like a Greven or a Ruthless Technomancer, but again, it's pretty solid just to trigger Rowan very consistently. Treasonous Ogre not only sets Rowan up for a massive activation, but additionally let nets us some mana. Fire Covenant, a solid way to remove our opponent's key pieces while paying life. Doom Whisperer reminds me a lot of Grizzlebrand. You just keep paying life until you find your key pieces. Phyrexian Processor, I just like throwing this onto the battlefield, paying a ton of life, and then you just start creating some massive tokens, and as long as we can get them lifelink, we can make sure that all that life comes back to us. Mount Doom, War Room, 
Tarnish Citadel, and Hall of the Bandit Lord are awesome solid cards that not only slot into our land slots, but provide a lot of value to the deck. Whoop, we've paid all that life, it's time to get it back. We need Shadow Spear, Luxodon Warhammer, and Basculus Collar, that way we can gain the life that we just paid. Additionally, we have Mask of Grizzlebrand, not only does this gain us a lot of life, but in a pinch it can draw us a ton of cards. Resurrection Orb is going to make sure we not only keep our key creatures on the battlefield, but additionally we get that lifelink. Veto Thorn of Duskrose. This is the only card that kind of breaks the thing I said at the start of the video, right? Only winning through combat damage. But in a sense, you have to do the combat damage to get the veto trigger. So, you know, maybe it works out. I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. Their name is Death also seemed like a very cool way to gain our life back. The four black pips might look intimidating at first, but remember we are going to be able to generate a ton of treasure tokens. And then we essentially gain all the life back we paid this turn, as long as we're able to tap Rowan for a shit ton, this is going to win us the game. Speaking of treasure tokens, we need more of them. Seize the spoils, big score, unexpected windfall, and inspiring tinkering are going to be amazing cards. Not only are they card advantage, they are also essentially ramp because we get those treasure tokens. These are going to be amazing when we're trying to storm off and have a massive turn with Rowan. Zorn is just going to give us some additional treasure tokens and then Goldspan Dragon is going to double up on all that treasure token goodness. Professional Facebreaker is going to be solid. Not only can we use her to generate more treasure tokens, but additionally if we're trying to storm off we can start sacking treasure tokens to get some card advantage. Grim Hireling, another way to use our treasure tokens to remove creatures and just generate a ton of treasure tokens in general. The Reaver Cleaver we have some very massive creatures in this deck, so hitting someone for 10 and then creating 10 treasure tokens is just busted. Ruthless Technomancer, again, this is really solid to sacrifice our massive creatures, and remember with something like Wall of Blood, it's very easy to sack Wall of Blood, get a ton of treasure tokens, and easily reanimate it because its power is so low. Moving on to the core of the deck, we have Thousand Year Elixir. This is going to be amazing. Not only can we use Rowan at instant speed, but additionally, we have a way to untap her, and then we can tap her again to get double the value. Rising of the Day, I really wanted haste in this deck because Giant Eldrazi are just a lot more threatening whenever they can attack right away. Swift of Boots, Lightning Greaves are also going to be a solid way to get haste. Arnie is going to be pretty solid because now, even if we have a Wall of Blood on the battlefield, we have a way to hit someone with a massive creature. Jessica's Will is going to be a solid way to get some burst of mana and additionally some card advantage. Goblin Engineer can either grab our Thousand Year Elixir or our Painter Servant, depending on what we want, and then we're just going to sack a treasure token to activate him anyway. Uh, animate Dead in case anything gets in the graveyard that we want to reanimate. We do have a couple Shuffle Titans in the deck, so obviously not them, but an Ancient Copper Dragon, yeah, definitely two mana, I'm going for that. Our Seize the Spoiler effects are going to be amazing to just discard these massive creatures into the graveyard, that way we can reanimate animate them later. Passed in flames because sometimes when you storm off you just don't get there. So getting access to the instant and sorcery cards in our graveyard to go ahead and try again is going to be very useful. Gix's command is super flexible. Not only can we get more lifelink, we can get rid of token strategies, we can get rid of go tall strategies, we can return stuff from our graveyard. Again it's just super flexible and going to be amazing in the deck. Blasphemous Act is also going to make the cut here because again we're trying to go a little late with this. We're a little weak to token strategies so this is just going to be the perfect board wipe. With that being said guys, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. Rowan is an absolute beast. Even with the only combat damage restrictions and having to get Painter Servant on the battlefield before we can reliably cast those titans, this deck is still going to be a menace, I have no doubt. With that being said, I would like to thank my patrons. Newsome, Excessum, Chicken Salad, you guys are amazing, you keep the channel going, as well as all my other patrons, I couldn't appreciate you guys enough. As always, I hope this helped you in your deck building endeavors and I will see you in the next one.